Well, here we are again on another glorious day in Rotorua. Um, no, nah, not so much. It's just started to rain. Um, unfortunately, going to be doing this ride solo as uh, the rest of the seniors have caught Corona. Um, when I say caught Corona, that's the Mexican beer, not so much the uh, Chinese virus. Um, so I'm doing this one alone. Um, look, you know, they're never going to beat me if they just don't come out and train. Anyway, we'll see where this ride takes us and uh, we'll catch up with you later on. Alrighty, see you guys. Hey guys, well I've climbed up to a spot um, that some of you may recognise in the forest. Um, and if you do recognise it, probably keep it to yourself. Um, but I'm guessing if you're up here, you know the tracks associated with this area. Um, which most of them don't actually have start and finish signs, if you know what I'm saying. Um, one of the reasons I don't ride a lot um, on my own is uh, I seem to lose my ability to manage risk. I kind of turn into a teenager and uh, do silly things, which I'm about to do now. So there's a track here, I've ridden an iteration of it some years ago um, and it was really challenging. Um, I'm going to try and find an easier version of it and go down um, now on my own. Um, so let's see how that works out. All right, we'll hopefully see you at the bottom. Rightio, here we go. Immediately I have a decision, left or right. Let's try right. And it appears we can go left and right again. I'll try right again. Huh, so far so good. Looking nice. Ooh, picked up a stick. Okay, this looks good. Oh, that looks good. Okay, bring the boys back to this one. Oh, always enjoy a new trail. Oh, this is magic. Oh, looking a bit ticky here. Bit of a drop. No problem. Righty ho. Another little bit. Oh yeah, this is magic. Okay, a little bit of a switchbacky turn here. Oh, it's an S. Okay, nice. Okay, down here. Okay, this looks interesting because of the root. Okay, that's all good. Manage that. Okay, what else have we got going on? More traversing. Cool, another track coming in here. Okay, wonder where that one starts. That's what I like about this part of the forest is endless, endless riding options. Okay, I was going to go straight ahead and there. Should we go this way? Oh, I see. That drops out onto there. So we probably are better to go this way. Drop it onto that track. Yeah. Alrighty ho. Now I'm in familiar territory. Good stuff. Righty ho, so you know how I was saying before that uh, when I'm on my own um, I lose my sense of uh, danger, my risk management just literally goes out the window. 
Um, so we're at a new illegal. I don't believe it is, even has a name yet. It's that new. Um, and it's really the first bit that's the scariest. Um, I'm not too sure if you'll see this on GoPro or not. But you start off by going down here. And at the bottom is quite a steep drop if you don't make it. So, like I say, uh, very poor decision maker when I'm on my own, left to my own devices. But anyway, let's uh, let's see how we uh, we go going down here. And if I don't make it, uh, tell my uh, wife and daughter that I love them. Hopefully, see okay. at the bottom. I'm not too sure what this perspective looks like on the GoPro, but in real life, uh, it looks like I'm just going to ride off a cliff. Um, well, I guess it looks like it because it is. Alrighty ho. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yes, got the first bit. Okay. Oh, I really do enjoy this techy type of riding. Now's my head hitting a tree. It's okay. Only just enough grip to be doing this, to be fair. Right, where does the adventure take us? Okay, we'll take this low line. Oh, a bit of a drop. Oh, okay, that's pretty slippery. Okay, not really controlling this that well. Right, we're sideways. We're holding on. We're holding on. All right. Okay, I'm dabbing. Now we're back on. Okay, stop. Easy drop here by the looks. Yep. That's rollable. Random. Looks like it carries on up here. Okay, I'll just turn off for a sec while I walk up here. Well, got out of that one alive. Ah, it's always good when that happens. Um, definitely a techie one. Put it on the new favourites list though. Be a good one to learn and uh, be able to roll down with a bit of pace on. Anyway, I'm actually here training for the 2W. So I should really put some pedal strokes in and uh, get some Ks under my belt. I uh, might turn you on a little bit later on. Alrighty guys, see ya. Well, a slight change of plans. I uh, ran into some guys that I know down at the uh, bottom of the shuttle pickup, Jens and George, uh, who are more than proficient at uh, enduro racing and in fact um, have done the last two Ws. George was even in the top 10 overall. So having a chat to them gave me a whole bit of inspiration. So I'm just waiting uh, for the shuttle to turn up the, to the drop off up here. Uh, obviously because I have an e-bike, uh, I'm up here waiting. Um, and then we're gonna go up and um, they're gonna hit cutties up. So very rare that I ever ride with anyone who wants to do cutties. So I jumped at the chance. Um, not only that, it's wet today. Uh, they're much better riders than I am. So it's really gonna push me. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. Um, another one, let's see if I can make it down. All right, we'll catch you guys up the top, eh, when the others turn up. Here we go, following the pros. We probably won't see them for long, but anyway.
quite a different line instead of like going like half down, down through the trees. Right now. The last time the crank works, we had to start like right from there, like the start was like when you come in, yeah. all the way down. <laughs> All right, good luck. See the bottom. Wow, that's dark. Dark and slippery. The year bars caught. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. <laughs> oh, he ends. I just. That's right, I just fell off back there anyway. Oh, bad line. Oh, you're right.
<laughs> oh, I'll have to have to sneak it down here. Just about at the Indians. <laughs> 